All right, hey, hey, this is Big here. I'm trying, I'm trying to kind of get in the shot here. <laughs> but anyway, um, so if you watched my last episode, uh, we tried to use that that relay, that dry contact connection, uh, to to bond the neutral and ground. So it, it was a pretty ingenious idea, but unfortunately, it didn't work. Okay, so what happened was, I guess, I guess there needs to be like a delay. Uh, when it when it jumps the the neutral on the ground, all right. So like I mentioned, uh, you can only do a neutral neutral to ground bonding at the main panel. Okay, so that's what I've learned. Um, it's an electrician thing. Okay, you can't have it you can't have it done at the main panel on the sub panel. And the problem is when it's an inverter mode, it needs to be bonded because it's not even you know it's a it's got a floating ground. Okay. Um, so to pro and so it's, that means it's not properly grounded. It's just open ground. So if you look, if you got, I got my little tester guy here. Okay, if I plug it into the outlet, only the middle light lights up. Okay. Okay. Only only the middle light lights up. Got it. All right, so, it, and I'll just read it for you. If the middle light is only illuminated, it means there's an open ground, okay? So we gotta fix that. Um, now, I'm not gonna lie, I've been running my system like this for months, all right? And it, it, it's fine, it's totally fine. Like, nothing has exploded in my garage or broke, breakers tripped or anything or gotten too hot. Um, it, it works perfectly fine like this. Um, but I, I do know if you're gonna charge, if you're gonna charge an EV with the EVSC, um, you'll get a ground fault, okay? You'll get a ground fault on your EVSC, and then it won't charge because it because you got open ground, all right? So it's not safe. Um, I guess if you're going to push a lot of current through the wires, you, it's probably a good idea to have it properly grounded. <laughs> so let's say, okay? So there's a so my little idea didn't work to use that setting 24, the the dry contact relay, to to bridge the the neutral or bond bond the neutral and ground only when it's in inverter mode uh so it did it did in, in a way it worked halfway it halfway worked okay um so what was happening was when it's in the battery mode when when it, it's when it's in the battery mode and it switches to to utility it trips the gfci breaker okay and, and so so i can't have that i can't just because then it won't work all right, and and then the battery will just die, you know, <laughs> and then you got no power. All right, so but if you go from if you go from grid to the to the inverter power, the battery power, it actually works. Okay, because no, there's no there's no breaker to trip. All right, um, now is that safe or not? I don't know. It seems okay. It looks like it's working fine. Uh, but th so there's another way. There's another way you can properly ground this system is to uh to bond the neutrals okay bond the neutral input to the neutral ground because and and so this is my theory anyway i i learned this from watts 247 and i was look i looked at up a bunch of forum stuff on the internet i google i did a lot of google foo and and that's what i found out a lot of people are are bonding their neutral input and outputs on their inverters all right and so so ian at uh, Watts 247 is where I got this guy, okay? Um, he mentioned to be sure at all times to bond the neutral input to neutral output with a link either at the inverter or in the sub panel, okay? So um, the easier of the two, actually, well, so I'm not gonna lie, we tested it last night and it actually worked, okay? So so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, I'm gonna actually do it like legit, all right? Um, we kinda, what we did last night, uh, with me and my dad, we, we, took like a, a plug and we stuck it in the outlet and then we took a jumper a jumper one of these guys okay test leads or alligator clips and then we 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 basically we i found out which one is the the neutral all right the one that that, that has the lower voltage i guess and then we connected it to the the panel all right to to the other neutral on the panel, okay? So basically, but basically that's what we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna be doing it inside here. It'll be easier, okay? You don't have to run this long ass cable, okay? Um, yeah, so, and then Ian said that we bond the neutral input to the neutral output as they are internally only bonded when in bypass mode and that one. So basically what you're doing, 
I, I kind of, I think I kind of understand that Hayes Omega is not good at this AC stuff, okay? Uh, but from what I understand is that it's already been neutral. The neutral on the ground is already bonded at the main panel. So if you bond the neutral, the neutrals together, it's already, it's already grounded. The neutral is grounded already, so there's no power in it. Um, so if you bond the, ne the neutral input and output together, um, it'll correct that grounding fault. And it, that's what it did, okay? So, and, and I, will, uh, I will demonstrate that right now, <laughs> okay? In the, in the next video clip, you'll see it. it it'll be working properly, okay? Uh, but, so, but to do this, I'm gonna have to shut the whole system down, so, because I, I have to go disconnect the wires and stuff. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a jumper, all right? So this is some of this, that spare wire that I had um, when, uh, when we did the, uh, the outlets, I think. That's what this is, okay? So I'm gonna use this to bridge the, uh, the, the neutral input and the neutral output, okay? So here we go. And, and then I'll, I'll show you my finished work, okay? But um, So just remember, see that? See that plug right there? Only the center is illuminated. Now if I plug this, okay, into the, the grid power, all right, it's already been neutrally, neutral, the neutral and the ground are bonded at the, at the main panel already, so it is good. So when the center and the right light, and it's kind of hard to see, but the, the center and the right light are illuminated now. That means it is correctly wired. You gotta, so that's, that's our goal, okay? We've gotta get it to look like that, all right? But right now it looks like this, okay? It's only one light. We need the two lights on, and then we know we're good, okay? Um, so in the next video clip, you will see that, <laughs> hopefully. Or I, I broke something. <laughs> all right, okay guys. I think I've done it. All right, I got my light on here because you guys won't be able to see what's in there. But let's go check out my work, okay? Before we fire it up. You guys will witness the first uh, power up. So this is the first time the system has actually been down in a long, long time. Anyway, so here's what I got going on in there, all right? So you can see here, probably, you can see there's two, there's two, there's like four wires now, four white wires now, all right? So. Oh, you better make sure that's the neutral, man. Yeah, those are the neutrals. The, the ones on the right are neutrals, all right? And then they're white, so. Um, so you can see the, the jumper wire that I showed you, it's going from this one to this one, okay? So I got it, I crammed it up in there. There's not a whole lot of room to, to put any more wires in there. <laughs> it's a good thing I use a smaller, smaller wire. Uh, and then there it is. It just kind of loops and it goes back up here and then it connects here, okay? So let's give it a whirl. We're gonna power the inverter on. Okay. Okay, inverter power is on. Uh, let's plug the grid in. Okay. Okay, it's got grid power. Battery's on. Inverter, oh, oh, okay, the line. It just powered the loads from from this, the inverter is not fired on yet. There's no loads, anyways. I I turned everything off. So there's actually no power going. There's no. Oh yeah, of course, because I didn't turn it on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's turn it on. Okay, there you go. So it is. Uh, it is uh, properly grounded, all right? But it's in line mode right now, all right? We gotta wait for the inverter to power up. It should kick on. I hope if I did if I did something wrong that the inverter will like, like just throw a fault or something, you know, and just disconnect something. <laughs> I hope. Okay, I've got AC power, but I'm not no inverter power. So when when this is a solid green, it's AC power um, from the um, the grid power, all right. And then the inverter is powering it when it's blinking. Okay, so it's not blinking right now. I don't know why.
Ugh. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, guys, I swear. Like, I, I was, like, getting ready to just unplug the line, and then, and then, like, uh... I didn't get it on video, but I heard the click and it went to the battery. Sometimes it takes a long time for it to switch from line mode from the line mode to the inverter mode. Okay, and now it's in inverter mode. It's blinking now. I, dude, I know, I, it's like you look away for a second and click, and it, it just goes online. I'm like, damn it, I didn't get it on video. All right, anyway, yeah. So now it's in line mode, and guess what? It is still properly grounded. Yahoo! All right. So now we can go. Let's go. Connect all our loads. The, re the refrigerator is being powered by it right now. All right, you can see everything is good to go. And it's not charging because it's dark outside. All right, so there you go. It is now properly bonded. There you go, properly grounded. So it's now no longer the wrong, the wrong way, <laughs> I was gonna say. All right, so if you remember from the previous clip, uh, when the inverter is running, only the center light illuminates, okay? To the but the proper way if it's properly grounded you would have these two lights illuminated okay and and there weren't they were not okay uh, it was only the center one now it's in inverter mode and it's been properly grounded okay so and it looks like everything is working let's go try a couple loads real quick all right here we go I got uh, this guy okay I got this guy. Okay, seems fine. And, uh, is this on? Yeah, let's just fire this up. Okay, everything still seems to be running okay. Let's turn the washer on. Good to go. All right, so my dad came in and the internet wasn't working. So, so oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot the internet's hooked up here. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. You can hear the inverter. It's working hard. <laughs> so I just powered everything on. Uh, but yeah, everything looks to be working still good. So there you go. Okay, but yeah, I fixed that ground, that open ground error or floating ground error problem by jumping the AC input, the neutral, the AC neutral input to the AC output, okay? Basically what it does is it ties the neutrals together. And like I, like I mentioned, it's already bonded at the panel to the ground. So like if you connect that neutral, it, it properly grounds it. So I, at least that's what I think it does. Th those of you that know more than I do, please comment in the comment section below. But yeah, that, that's what Ian at Watch247 told me to do and as I did it. Uh, unfortunately, that, that relay trick mod that I tried to do, it didn't work, okay? But this seems to have fixed the problem, right? Now, I believe, I believe if I disconnect this, all right, if I disconnect the input, it won't work properly, all right? So let's go do that. I'm gonna disconnect the AC input from the from the grid power and it should not be properly grounded. Boom, there you go, see? All right, plug it back in. Now it's properly grounded, okay? So, so for the system to be properly grounded in both modes, this has to be plugged in, okay? Because it's getting, it's getting the ground from the house now, okay? From, it's getting the ground from the grid power. Oh, I left this on. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so there you go. So, uh, so to fix the open ground problem, what Hades and Mega had to do, okay, by per uh, Ian from Watts Two Four Seven, I connected the AC neutral input to the AC neutral output on the inverter, okay, and then it, it gets the ground, okay, from the grid. All right, so but. So you have to have the grid power connected, okay, for it to do that. If not, if you don't have it connected, then you can use the neutral bonding screw or, or a jumper or something, all right. But but if you're gonna if you're gonna run both of them, all right, like it like a backup supply, then yeah, you got to do that. Um, now from to do it from a generator, I think you'd have to bond it from the generator. Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, you have no. Yeah, yeah, you could do the same thing. Yeah, no. This would actually work if you plugged it into a generator too. Um, uh, we will. Well, we'll. So that'll be a, a no, different episode. We're gonna. We'll see if it works from a generator. <laughs> it should. It should. Um, the, it, it just, we'll see if it's properly grounded 
when it's for, on a generator. Uh, you know what? I don't know. No, I don't. No, it, don't, it wouldn't work if you plugged it in the generator because the generator, it doesn't have the ground. The generator doesn't have a ground. It's not bonded at the generator. So the reason the reason this works is because it's bonded at the main panel. So this wouldn't work with the generator, okay? So yeah, Hades may just realized that. You would have to bond it at the generator. Yeah, you would have to bond it. It's like you're... It's like you're plugging in two inverters. Yeah, it's kind of you're using like two inverters because because a generator is an inverter. All right, it's a gasoline. It's a generator with a with an inverter on it. <laughs> okay, but uh, we'll we'll have to test that theory out. Um, yeah. Oh. No, I. You know what? I think it would work. No, no, no. Because the neutral, the neutral isn't bonded to the ground, at the generator. You're just bonding the neutrals together, and the neutral isn't bonded to the ground. So yeah, this wouldn't work for a generator. Okay, so if you're trying to do the generator mode, but I think it would still work. You could still power your loads with a generator. It just wouldn't be properly grounded. If you wanted to, if you wanted to correct the grounding problem, uh, you could you could bond the neutral to the ground on the generator. And I have a plug for that. So that may be a, a future episode to try try the generator out. Okay. All right. Anyway. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I hope that was entertaining. Uh, that's how you uh, fix an open ground or a floating ground problem with using grid power on your grow watt, grow watt in all-in-one inverter. Okay, you got to bond the AC input neutral to the AC output neutral. All right. Uh, yeah. Also, I, wanna, I wanted to point out that yeah, the reason that you want your system properly grounded is so like you don't get electrocuted or something. Okay. Or yeah. I think that's the main reason you don't want to get electrocuted, like if you touch something. I haven't got electrocuted because I'm still alive. So, <laughs> but but yeah, it's 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 safer if it's grounded. All right, all right, here's me out.